Hi everyone, my name is Kayvan and in this video I'm gonna show you how to set a timer on a UI collection view so that it can auto scroll at a specific intervals like 5 seconds or 10 seconds. So let's go on and create a new project. I call it auto scroll view demo and we use single view application. Let's call this project collection view auto scroll view demo. Something like that. Collection view, auto scroll. Demo. And we use Swift as a language. Team none and we make sure to uncheck use core data. Next. We save the project at the de on the desktop. Now we have it. Now let's go to the main dot storyboard and add a collection view to the view controller we type collection view add it to the main storyboard and before that let's change the layout let's change the scroll direction to the horizontal this is important and let's resize the collection view 375 height 200 x 0 y let's add 10 375 since we are on iPhone 7 simulator 375 high 200 okay now let's add an image view to the collection view we can add it directly or through the outline okay the width and the height is the same and now let's go to the collection view cell the collection view and add the top right and left constraints so that it, it sticks to the top we choose the collection view cell and add a cell identifier cell okay now we create a custom UI collection view cell class use file coco touch class you see UI collection view cell is a subclass and we call it custom collection view cell next add it to the project to the main project we go to back to the storyboard we open the assistant editor we drag let's choose let's first uh, choose the file choose the class custom collection view cell and now we select the main image go manual project collection view scroll demo choose the custom class and we drag and create an outlet from the image view we call it my image okay close the window now let's select the collection view and add an outlet to the view controller we call it the same collection view okay we close the window <clears throat> now let's add the source and the delegate to the view controller itself data source we drag to the view delegate don't forget to do that and now let's add some images to the project I have already this folder on my desktop select all images and drag them to our project don't forget to check copy items if needed finish now you see images have been added 
and let's open view controller and let me get rid of these codes now we need an array to hold the images var data array we call it it's an array of strings so brackets a string and let's name it image 1 to 6 let me first copy six items three four five six one two three four five six okay now let's add uh, the collection ui collection view delegate and data source to the view controller <clears throat> ui collection view data source and comma UI collection view delegate. Now we should conform to the protocol and add the necessary methods. First number of rows in section. The number of rows should be return data array dot count. Okay, we have six items and now cell for item at index path okay now let's create a cell let cell equal dq collection view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier remember we call it cell and index pass we have it as an argument passed in and now as custom collection view cell since we have a custom collection view return cell now let's set the image remember we called we called it my image that image equals <clears throat> UI image and we name named we use the format named okay <clears throat> data array dot uh, sorry index pass dot row okay now we've got the images so let's run the project i use iphone 7 i run the project it build succeed it takes a few seconds okay let's open simulator okay now you see we've got the images the six images and we scroll it it scrolls horizontally and we have all the images as you can see we should find a way to auto scroll every n seconds for example every five seconds now let's create an error create a variable to get hold of the index path var index row index or index row let me call it row index it's better row index equals index path dot row and now we get the number of items in the in the array so we get the number of images in fact if the current row index is less than the number of images or items we add one to the row index meaning that it, it should scroll to the next image or item and if not we set we set the row index to zero we add the if else statement if row index is less than number of records we add row index plus one if it's not less than number of items 
we set it to zero okay now let's add the timer we add a variable i call it scrolling timer equals timer since we need a timer to auto scroll every 10 or 5 seconds scroll timer equals timer of course with capital T timer dot and we use schedule timer and with this option user info schedule timer okay we want every 5 seconds target self meaning the self, the view controller and selector we should add a function view controller and we call it start timer which will we add soon and we pass the timer as the parameter let me add it the timer okay and we pass the the row index as the user info this is important repeats true since we want to repeat it and we add the function func start timer and we pass the timer as the parameter timer okay now oh, let's add an animation to the scrolling we use ui view dot animate and with these options duration delay options okay duration just one second is enough delay we don't have we add zero options that curve is out of course you can use any animations and the block we add soon completion we don't have so we add nil okay now in between we use the most important part of the code self that collection view that scroll to item this is the most important part scroll to item at index path now we add the index path open parenthesis and we add row column the timer remember it has the user info which gets the index path as int and the section zero and the second one UI collection view scroll position and we add the timer capital T again okay scroll position center horizontally since we have we have it horizontal animated false and now we are done let's give it a try and see what we have we run the project build succeed we don't have any code errors you wait okay now after five seconds you see the collection view scrolls horizontally to the next image you see okay i hope you have enjoyed watching this video thanks everyone